Hello everybody and welcome to Storytime with me, Miss Anna. So lovely to see you all. I know I haven't seen you in a little while. I've had a little bit of a frog in my throat, but I'm feeling much better now. And I hope you enjoy our story with me. Um, our story is called Camille's Little Secret. And as you can see, Camille is a camel, yes. And in English we say camel, in Arabic we say jamal, and in my language, Afrikaans, we say Camille. Camille's Little Secret. And the author is Hassan Al Marashi, and the illustrator is Ruth Burroughs. There we go. In the desert. Can everybody see? Excellent. Deep in the Arabian desert, where the palm trees gently swayed and the hot sun beat down on the large sand dunes, a merchant was bringing home camels from the town market. A merchant is like a shop, he owns like a little shop and he worked in the market. So he sells these camels. He had bought so many camels that he hadn't noticed one of the little calves was quite different from the rest. Can you spot the one that looks a bit different? Mm. Let's see. What do we have here? said the merchant to the little camel. Whatever will I do with you? The other camels chuckled <laughs> and whispered to the calf, you're not going to stay much longer, little one. But why? asked the puzzled calf. Why can't I stay? You're different, said one camel. Too different. But I'm a camel, just like you, said the calf. Aren't we all the same? Another camel replied, No, not quite, I'm afraid. So already they're making him feel like the odd one out, even though he is a camel, just like them. Days went by and the merchant saw that all the, cam all the camels were getting along, playing, eating and drinking together. But the little calf was made to keep to himself. The merchant felt sorry for him and decided it was time to find a new home for the little calf. The next morning, the merchant fed and groomed the little camel, then took him far into the desert. They walked for hours until the merchant finally spotted the perfect place for the calf. Here we are, little one, said the merchant. This will be your new home. He took off his baggy blue jacket and put it on the camel's back. This will help you avoid the laughs and stares. The merchant explained, now 
run, run along, little Camille. And so, with a baggy blue jacket and a new home name, the little camel was left to find his own way in the desert. Time went by and Camille the camel made many friends in the desert. As he grew bigger and taller, his jacket got smaller and uh, tighter, but it still managed to hide his secret. Camille's jacket made him very, very hot, but he was afraid the other animals would find out about his secret. So he never took it off. A sweaty tummy was a small price to pay to avoid being left alone again in the desert. He just wanted to fit in. He just wanted to have friends. When it rained, the other animals would go swimming in the giant puddles. But Camille would not join in. Uh, I don't want to get wet, he would say. When the puddles dried up, all the animals would play in the mud. But Camille would not join in. Uh, I don't want to get muddy, he would say. When the mud went away, all the animals would make sand angels. <laughs> but Camille would not join in. Uh, I, I don't want to get sandy, he would say. Camille often missed a lot of fun just to keep his blue jacket on. It made him feel sad, but he knew he would feel worse if the animals found out about his secret. So he's there with them, but actually he's hiding. One summer afternoon, Camille and his friends, Sammy the snake, Mimi the mouse, and Harris the horse, set off to find the perfect spot for a picnic. Look, shouted Harris. There's an oasis. How about we have our picnic under the palm trees? Camille was relieved. His jacket was making him so hot and sweaty under the desert sun. Some shade was exactly what he needed. After everyone's belly was full, it was time to play. The group settled on hide and seek, Camille's favorite game. So Sammy, Mimi, and Camille went off to hide while Harris started counting. One, two, three. Mimi spotted a lush green bush. I'll hide in there, she said. That's much too prickly for me, said Sammy. And far too short for me, Camille added. Sammy started toward a tall slanted tree. I'll hide up there. That's just too slim for me, said Camille. Finally, Camille found the perfect hiding spot where he was sure no one would find him. It only took Harris a few minutes 
to find Sammy and oh, Sammy and Mimi. But Camille was nowhere in sight. The tree, the three of them searched and searched, but they just could not find their camel friend. Is he that good at hiding? Did something happen? I wonder. Sammy slithered to the top of a big rock to take a break. He closed his eyes for a moment, but then realized something was not right. The rock is soft and fluffy. Sammy realized a rock soft and fluffy. Surprised, Mimi climbed up next to Sammy. That's strange, she said. Let's try this one. Sammy and Mimi hopped onto the next rock. This one is soft and fluffy too, they both exclaimed. They both standing on rocks that are soft and fluffy. The three friends sat there for a moment, feeling puzzled. Harris noticed Camille's blue jacket sticking out from under the rocks. Oh no, said Harris. I hope Camille isn't in trouble. He never takes off his jacket. Mimi scurried under the rock and began to pull on the jacket. Suddenly, the rock moved and then it shouted, Ooh! What do you think that is? with a blue jacket. Let's see if you're right. Ha! <laughs> laughed Camille. The rock laughed the rock as it leaped up into the air. It's Camille. Yeah. Stop! That tickles! Harris Sammy and Mimi stood there, stunned. The rock was Camille. <laughs> uh, Camille, you, you took your jacket off, they all exclaimed. Camille's laugh quickly turned into a frown. He's realizing what he did. I uh, I always keep it on so that no one will stare at me. Be but I had to take it off to to blend in with the other rocks. He ex ex um, explained. Camille's friends were confused. Why would anyone stare at you? Sammy asked. B because I have two humps, of course. My blue jacket keeps them hidden, replied Camille. But why would you want to hide your humps? asked Mimi. Haven't you noticed all the other camels only have one hump? I'm the only one who is different, Camille said sadly. Being different is a good thing, Mimi insisted. We're all a little different in some way. My back hooves are bigger than my front hooves, but they help me jump higher, said Harris. And the scales on my tummy are backwards, but they help me climb better, Sammy chimed in. And my eyes are huge, but they help me see 
further peep piped up Mimi and uh, Mimi Mimi. Camille certainly agreed that his friends' features were good differences. Maybe his was too. Well, I never thought of it that way, he said. Harris smiled at Camille and said, Now come on, we have a game of hide and seek to play, and you're much better at hiding without your blue jacket. So the four friends laughed and played and Camille never felt like wearing his blue jacket again. The end. Why fit in when you were born to stand out? Have a lovely, lovely day. See you next time. Bye.